Hello and welcome to the GCC Innova series of video blogs for what's new in Sage 200 2010. Okay, so in previous blogs we've covered some of the new features, what's in cells that are processing, posts that are processing in stock. In this particular one we're going to look at the new Bill of Materials module. Now it is a completely new module, so literally everything has changed. So it's going to be quite a challenge to uh, show you through everything in 10 minutes, but I'll see what we can get through in this particular blog. Okay, first up, we've got a bill of materials module there and a list of uh, bills here. You already you noticed that on the list we've got the buttons back, so it's wor now working like the rest of the system. In fact, we can yeah, open bills and go through and amend and view, etc., from the list. So I've just opened up a kitchen build here and as you can see the screens look uh, quite different. We still have references and descriptions etc. We have much better version control in this particular one. If version control is on then you can still do things like replace and uh, substitutes which you couldn't do in prior versions nor could you actually edit a bomb without creating another version of the bomb whereas you, there's a ways of getting around that now in this particular one. There's effective dates for this bill of material and there's uh, default quantity bills, etc. Here's the build, the items going in to make up this bill of material. And uh, now we can add in, almost the same as before, we can add in component stock item, comment lines, or link to documents, but also we can add in multiple stock items in one go instead of having to go in and add a stock item and then add another and then add another. We have to add a whole bunch in one go through here. Um, one of the fundamental changes between this version and prior versions is operations. Previously you just add in a cost item line, sort of a very static thing where you just give it a description and the value and it would uh, effectively add in cost item lines, whereas now we've got full operations um, and we can come in and edit one of the operations here. And the operations themselves have default run times and various phases, but those are then built up from various resources. So you set up machine resources, labor resources, tool resources, and then consume them into various operations. It's getting towards sort of a mini manufacturing type scenario. Also within the operations, you can actually set up whether this is a subcontracted operation. So you can set up which supplier would actually do this and how much it would cost and what's the lead time of doing this subcontracting. You can also set it up as a backup. So you can have your regular resources here. Now if we did it in-house it costs this much time and effort. If we subcontract it costs this much time and effort. And on the front screen here you can decide whether you actually want to cost it up as subcontracted or as in-house. So you can swap and change between a particular operation if you're actually tooling up slightly differently uh, as the weeks come by. And then we can add in the components as you previously were able to in uh, earlier versions. Okay, so we'll come back to um, operations and registers in a moment. Okay, so we've now got our operations all set there. So if we now come through into uh, the notes area, uh, here we can add in notes like we can elsewhere within the system. Attachments differ slightly to the, how the rest of 200 work in that but you can add in an attachment which will copy the attachment over to the server or within BOM you can add a link which will just add a shortcut through to wherever the folder is saved on your regular server that way you've only got one copy of whatever the document is to worry about so if you're changing it in its usual version and its usual location then it doesn't matter or you can add in an entire folder from your uh, server as well you can create a drawing register as well and attach drawings in here for this particular one. And you can also take advantage of the new analysis code setup and add analysis codes onto bill of materials. See more about analysis code, see uh, earlier versions of these new features blogs. A uh, major change with regards to uh, costing in here. So we can come into here and cost this bomb up. So we're into costing. At the moment we've not costed the bomb. I can come down here and uh, cost. Plus, I don't have to just do this individually. I can add on a whole bunch of bill of materials and do a costing for a whole slew of bills. But for the moment, we're just going to stick with this one. And we're just going to cost up using just just one for now. See how much one costs. So hit costing here. It goes through, works out the costs. 
I've got a warning set here to say actually a component cost of this build has a cost price of zero so it's just warning you at the moment so you get an accurate cost by putting in whatever the cost price is at that particular point in time so click on OK there and it's gone through and worked out what the calculated costs are for that particular one but also you can take it much further than that you can come in and view a breakdown of the costs as well so if I come into view breakdown I've now gone into view my breakdown I can see the breakdown between materials labor and machines so these are the various processes we we're talking about before so I can drill into my materials and see how they're building up drill into the machines and labor time see how they're building up how everything is contributing to the costs I could take it another step further and go down to a more detailed view where I can actually see the time of the various assemblies as well so you see it's a sort of linking in more with the manufacturing side I can also vary how these headings are arranged so I can do it perhaps by resource or perhaps by phase so I can see my operational costs here, my setup time and my run time basically you're just getting the idea that there's many ways you can view the costings within the of materials here okay so if I just close that I close that so that is my bomb in terms of setting up all of those operations and um, tool registers and lists that's all set within a new module called the manufacturing systems module where here I have my machine register so here are my machines so they're all listed out as well and then you put in the labor so you can build up various labor types you know, various groups of skilled unskilled class one class two etc to vary your costs around just to aid in setup and then you go away and set up an operations register list that draws together all of the labor machines and cost into a particular operation type which you then obviously add on to your bomb as we saw okay so if I come back to my bill of materials so what can I do with my bill of materials now I've got my bill of materials assembled so I've got Arizona Beach basic kitchen here so I can pick that up and come away and do some trial kitting so if we come on to trial kitting here so quantity of one or we can come through and say well at the moment we don't know whether it can be processed or not I can just drop down here to this new button and do maximum build which is basically based on all the stock I have at the moment how many can I actually build well in this case it's five okay so we can go away from there click on close you might notice we also have warehouses here so we can actually select which warehouses to draw the stock from as well which is a major change from previous versions where you could only build a bomb from the components in the same warehouse that the bomb is now you can go company wide and look at all or none or one of the particular houses to try and draw your warehouses to draw your stock from so that's a huge change there some of the sort of options as to before as to all the rules that apply when you uh, look to see what stock sources are going on etc ordinarily you would then come through to display and then we can see what we need to create this particular bomb whether we have any shortages or not okay another major change from this trial build is we can actually now go away and say okay create the allocation or in fact create the sales order so that will create the sales order for one bill of material so we see this more along the lines of if a customer calls in and says well do you have any Arizona kitchens can you build me one you can quickly come into trial kitting run it up see whether it's buildable or not and then create the sales order for the build and then set the allocation in motion so it's all happening in one place instead I just come out of there for now because we're moving on to actual allocations now so if I come in and select uh, new allocation and anybody that's used the prior bomb module from here will be able to see that it's pretty similar to how it worked in the past so anybody that's used bomb before won't get uh, lost within the new version and we can come into warehouses again and select exactly which warehouses we want to kit from and other than that we're OK we can go OK and confirm that will go away and make the allocation and from there we can go on and record the build as normal okay so that's my confirmed allocation record I can amend the allocation if I wish to but I'm okay there and I can move on and I can carry on then and do record 
both items as usual. Okay. Amend elevated privileges are for the version control. If you have version control switched on previously, you wouldn't have been able to amend the bill of material without actually creating a new version. Now you can give users the ability to amend with elevated privileges, which means they can amend a troll version to bomb without actually creating a new version of the bomb. There are also other ones here, so when you've got uh, bombs used within other bombs, you can start to use explosion and you can see which items are made up of that bomb and then you can also use implosion as well which is, okay, where is this build actually used in other bombs? So an implosion there means, okay, where do we actually use this bomb in other bombs? Where is it a subassembly? Other utilities and processing are the uh, ability to, there's a whole host of other reports in there as well, which is uh, extremely useful. Um, the other one I am uh, looking for in here, other than the way I used, is the maintenance. That's where I was going. The maintenance. Okay. The replace component one is obviously if an item is used somewhere in the bomb. You can come in, find a particular stock item, see where it's used, and then do replace item from there. You can also remove components and redo your costings from that particular point of view. Okay, so it's very much a whistle stop tour of the new bomb module. This is particularly one that, if you're interested, we'll have to go through it more on a one to one basis. So, obviously, give us a call there. But again, just a quick look at the new Bill of Materials module for 2010.